A man who says he was molested by a well-known Fayetteville basketball coach is speaking to CBS North Carolina tonight. 50-year-old Rodney Scott is facing 10 child sex charges, all involving victims who were 14 or 15 years old at the time. Scott volunteered with the Cumberland County School District and coached an area AAU basketball team over the past two decades. CBS North Carolina's Nate Rogers joins us now with the story of a man who says he's among Scott's victims. Nate? Yes, Sean, the former player says Scott portrayed himself to be a Christian man, but he now calls him a father and mentor during the day and a vampire at night. I'm just scared to, to be in that type of situation of somebody that you we'll name this former player John Doe. John Doe is one of four men that have filed sex abuse charges against coach Rodney Scott. John Doe claims he was sexually abused by Scott at Scott's home at least seven different times nearly a decade ago. It's kind of hard to tell somebody without somebody either not believing you or looking at you a certain type of way. Police say the then 15-year-old was the type of child Scott targeted, raised in a single-parent household and looking for avenues to escape trouble. John Doe says he finally opened up to his mom about the abuse years later. When I kind of told her about it, I just kind of told her, you know, this is something I would want to deal with on my own. Uh, she kind of gave me that type of respect. Judy Ray's son also played on Scott's AAU team. Ray told me her son is not a victim. He's always said Coach Scott has never did anything inappropriately with him, to him. According to court documents, at least three of the men that have come forward say Scott forced them to sleep in the bed with him. Former basketball players tell CBS North Carolina that it was routine for players to room with Scott. Judy Ray says that's a red flag. She has harsh words for the former coach. Definitely on the verge of being a, a pedophile. I mean, it, adults do not sleep with children. Now, I also spoke to another coach who worked alongside Scott for many years. He tells me he never knew kids spending the night at Scott's home. All right, Nate, thank you. And anyone who believes they've been a victim or knows someone they believe has been a victim of a sexual assault or any crime involving Rodney Scott, you're urged to call Fayetteville Police at a number that we have there on our screen. It's also on our website, WNCN.com. This dedicated phone line is staffed Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Again, you can find that number on our website, WNCN.com.